in the hills of Sinol. A phantom steams out of the past and into view. Clover Valley Lumber Steam Engine Number 4, one of the workhorses of the Niles Canyon Railway Museum, rumbling along 12 miles of track through Fremont and Sinol. She's uh, 100 years old this month. Every weekend, this historic railway, founded in the 1980s, carries visitors through transportation history. Often it's volunteer Alan Siegworth under the hood. We're here to kind of try to keep it running, show the history of railroads in California. But keeping this 100-year-old antique running can be a challenge. Recently, number four needed new brake shoes, the kind of parts you can't just run down to Walmart for. No, no, no. All this stuff really isn't made anymore. It's a small part that could put the brakes on an entire steam engine. We wouldn't be able to stop, so we wouldn't be running this locomotive without new brake shoes. The railroad volunteers knew they needed someone to custom make the parts, but where? California was once filled with iron foundries, but few remain. The answer to this dilemma came from another portal of the past. About 100 miles east, in the famed gold rush town of Sutter Creek, once known as the jewel of the mother load, is another joint where time cycles backward. This is the Knight Foundry. It was established in 1873 to uh, produce high-pressure water motors. A vestige from the gold mining days, the volunteer-run Knight Foundry is where the industry of yesteryear lives on in iron and fire. A blacksmith forges tools. Volunteers fill molds with melted aluminum. It's the perfect place to make something that isn't made anymore like an old train part. So we needed some brake shoes, and then this locomotive, they're special. Basically asked us if we'd be willing to work out a deal and uh, build some parts for their locomotives that they're uh, working on. So inside the pattern shop, Joe Harrelson took an original brake shoe and made a wood pattern. Basically, this is the pattern to produce the brake shoe. From that pattern, Volunteers made a mold using green sand and then summoned an inferno to melt iron to pour in the molds. Well, absolutely. This is exactly how it had been done 150 years ago. So this gives us a, an outlet to be able to uh, build our skill in, in iron casting. The foundry, which is celebrating its 150th anniversary, recently made parts for other historic railroads in California. We're trying to preserve these traditional methods of making wooden patterns and sometimes trying to just discover how did they do that 100, 150 years ago. Those new parts will keep Niles Canyon's engine number four on track and passengers all aboard the Time Traveler Express. Preserving that knowledge and then industries like Knight's Foundry to be able to make the parts is key to the whole success of what we're doing. It's a relationship stoked in the furnaces of time. Here, in this hotbed of technology, it's the technology of another era saving the day. We're lucky it's still there. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.